everyone, this is Simmer Erin, and today we're going to be talking about the EA items from expansion packs or game packs that you guys use in all of your games. So basically, I asked this question on Twitter, and I was just curious, what items besides CC do you guys consistently use in your everyday Sims games and or builds? There were many different answers, but we are just going to be going over the ones that people said over and over again. So, number one item on our list, not in any particular order, is the plants from Dine Out. So, I actually own a Dine Out, which is really, really unusual for me to actually own something, but I do own Dine Out, and a lot of you guys really liked the flower vases, and you really liked the decor from Dine Out, you said you used it in your homes, and it just gave a little extra of a kind of a little decor, kind of like a cozy look to it. I have also used it, of course, because I only have seasons and dine out and get together as of this recording. So I totally agree with that. I totally understand that. I think they're nice, a lot of nice decor items that don't just go in restaurants. So that was your number one pick. By the way, if you are still here, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, ring the bell for notifications, and comment below. Just let me know about yourself, even just so I can get to know you because I love meeting new simmers. Next up, we have the skinny jeans or pants. I think they're jeans. Yeah, skinny jeans from City Living. Now, I do not own City Living, so I cannot attest to the magic of these jeans. However, a lot of you guys said you just cannot live without them. I think also a lot of people commented that a lot of CC things were based off of those skinny jeans. And I'm kind of wondering, why don't we have more skinny pants? Why do we have to rely on city living for our skinny pants? So a lot of you guys just said, you know, I, I don't necessarily like a lot of the EA stuff, but I love those pants. So I probably would use them all the time too if I did have that pack. So that was the number two requested thing. The third one is just all the clutter items that came with both cats and dogs and seasons. I admit I have seasons, but I haven't taken full advantage of the clutter items because I tend to not be really detailed in my builds, but I am going to try to work on that. And it looks like they came with a lot of really cute stuff, just really cozy stuff, makes it feel at home. It looks like cats and dogs is kind of along the same line, a lot of rustic items, and you guys say you cannot live without those clutter items. I know that there's a few people out there that really like more simplistic, very modern, kind of more spacious builds, but I also know it's super popular to put in a lot of those clutter items and really make it feel cozy and like a home. So you guys definitely rated those as items that you really couldn't live without. You didn't really specify so much as saying just all the clutter items. You just love, love using those. So that's really great to hear. The next thing is kind of funny. A lot of you guys said you used the unbreakable toilet, which I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. How do you get the unbreakable toilet? Is it, is it actually just an item? Is it something you have to unlock? Because it almost sounds like something you have to unlock. So let me know what that is. But honestly, I would be all for an unbreakable toilet because no one likes playing The Sims and constantly having to fix your freaking toilet, which is probably going to be a massive struggle for me because I like to buy the cheap toilets and I know there's not a real good, it's not a good idea is what I'm trying to say because it constantly breaks. So I could definitely go for an unbreakable toilet. I mean, imagine in real life an unbreakable toilet. Everybody would be stoked about that. You guys also mentioned toilet paper and toilet paper rolls and I, when I saw the comment, I'm like, wait a minute, there's toilet paper, there's toilet paper rolls? Like, where are they? Like, what game? Did, are they base game? Are they a special pack? Am I missing something? Seriously, I don't ever have toilet paper. I just assume my Sims use toilet paper. I just use my imagination. And honestly, I just don't think about this stuff. But a lot of you guys were really obsessed with the toilet paper and you're arguing about which side or how you put the toilet paper on the roll. And I'm like, okay, I'm stepping outside of this conversation. But anyway, we are going to go ahead and get to our last item because we are running out of time. And this by far was the most popular and the most requested item, not requested, but the, the, the item that everybody used. They swore by it. They said they had to use it in every single one of their games. And it is the, I believe it's called the Nano Can Touchless Trash Can. In case you have no idea what that is, because I didn't know, apparently it comes with the base game and apparently that's what the name is. Some people didn't know what the name was. And it's the one where you can get money 
by putting, like, you can sell things and, like, put it in the trash can and it gives you money. That's, like, so cheaty. Like, why does it do that? Way to go, Sims 4. Honestly, guys, the only reason I even knew that existed and I forgot it existed was I'm pretty sure I saw, like, I think it was probably English Simmer. It was, let's be honest, it probably was English Simmer. Probably Little Sims here in English Simmer. I was watching one of their LPs and I'm like, why are they getting money for putting something in the trash can? And I thought it was absurd, and honestly, I've never used it because I forgot about it. So, good pro tip for me, if you're really poor, just put stuff in the trash can. Honestly, imagine if it was like that in real life. You had a trash can where you just put crap in it and it gave you money. I mean, I'd be all for it. I definitely need it with my current finances. Well, not my current finances, but like, I don't make that much for my jobs. Okay, I really need to stop. Also, if you guys are interested, there's apparently recolors of that trash can. I don't know, maybe you really need that trash can in your life and you're kind of sick of the colors. There are recolors to that trash can. If I find it, I'll link it below. Otherwise, you're on your own. I'm not going to lie. Maybe someone can comment and help you. You know, it's me. What can you expect? And on that note, I am going to let you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did enjoy this video. Let me know if you'd like me to do similar videos than this. And if you have any more ideas in general about Twitter polls. And just be sure to super subscribe. And I can't even talk. Ah. Please be sure to subscribe for more quality content like this. And I really like you guys so, so much. And I hope you're having a great day. Bye.